Hello, it's Andy Graham of HoboTraveler.com. I've traveled nonstop for 16 plus years and went to 104 regular countries and one rogue country. I answer questions about the, the global travel lifestyle. Okay, Steve asks, he's a 50 year old male living in St. Charles, Missouri. He's uh, thinking about getting back on the road. Uh, question. Once leaving the country, how do you get your aunt mail to follow you? In my case, I won't have someone back in the States to call me when something important arrives. The only example I can think of that qualified as an important is the occasional letter from the VA requiring me to set up a hospital appointment or return a form in a timely manner. Missing this would effectively would would affect my monthly pension payments. Okay, Steve, um, I really don't have the answer. The um, basically my answer would be to not get this type of mail but obviously there's some mail as older people get or whatever or, uh, that require money whatever I I don't get any kind of mail that ever is forwarded to me okay and everything is done I, I set up uh, all my things with companies or businesses or people that makes it so that I can even pay I, I pay people online by getting on my PNC bank account writing a check and it's mailed but from the bank um, the other ones have to call me, so they call me. Okay, now, and particularly on your VA question, I think the the normal answer on the VA people that are travelers is they live in uh, they live in in like the Philippines or anywhere there's a VA uh, post. There's actually in the Philippines there are posts where you can actually receive your mail. I I know Phil, my friend, you know, lives overseas most of the time. Uh, on the other side is there is a thing called boat, boat mail. The people that would know this more than anybody would be the guys with the super large cruisers and sailboats that are sailing around the planet that are still doing business and doing the you know celebration of wealth by having an expensive thing. They might be in the Caribbean. These people would know it. It's called boat mail, but as far as actually forwarding it. Now you can get on um, our website hobotraveler.com and on the index page or the site map page you can find mail forwarding and there's a whole list of companies that will supposedly scan your mail and send it to you. I don't know if this works okay I have never done it and I can't recommend anything. I do know that uh, Sosua Dominican Republic and uh, Lake Atalan, Guatemala have a mail forwarding system that would sp forward all your mail to that location, but that's not really traveling, that's moving to a location. Um, on the end of the thing, you need to talk to veterans that are living abroad, so get on some Philippine sites and it's just full of vets that are living abroad and they can answer your questions. Um, but I really don't know the answer for myself because I don't get any mail that needs forward. And my mother does write me every time she thinks it's something important, but I, as far as I know, I've never got anything important. Although, a lot of really crazy publishers send me books to review. <laughs> they don't even email me, and they send me my books to review. My mother reads them. And I find out many months later that I got a book that I was supposed to read to review on my website, but uh, they didn't tell me an email like, I'm somehow not a traveler. Little do they know, I'm one of the one in 500 travel writers that actually travels. So, uh, that's the only thing I ever got that I really missed was these books. But my mom reads them. <laughs> okay. Uh, bottom line is simplify your life. Okay. Simplify it down to your life where nothing can hold you hostage. And these things that you are doing is holding you hostage. And I don't have any of these things. And eventually, if you just do some test runs, leave for three months, come back in the United States for a month, leave for three months, you will eventually find all your answers out. And then you can share it with us. Andy Graham, HoboTraveler.com in Kiev, Ukraine. You can get on HoboTraveler.com and subscribe to the uh, travel blog and receive this in your email box every day.